Let's say I'm thirsty. Do you have water? In Lebanese Arabic. عطشان كتير. معك ماي? That's the masculine form. Let's break it down. عطشان عطشان Thirsty or I'm thirsty. We don't have I am in Arabic. It's like in English you are saying I thirsty without the am. عطشان كتير Very or a lot. You notice here I didn't say أنا عطشان كتير أنا means I but we can drop it in Arabic so I can say أنا عطشان كتير or I can also say عطشان كتير without the أنا the two sentences have the same meaning أنا عطشان كتير I'm very thirsty. معك ماي؟ معك ماي؟ معك ما عك. Do you have ماي؟ ماي. Water. معك ماي؟ Do you have water? That's masculine. Because the ek sound at the end of ma'ak makes it masculine. Now, notice how I ask the question. In Arabic, to ask a question, we simply change the tone of our voice. So, listen carefully to differentiate between a statement and a question. If I say ma'ak mai ma'ak mai that's just a statement. I'm saying to a person, you have water. Now, if I want to ask the question, I say, Ma'ak mai? Ma'ak mai? You see how I used the same sentence? All I did is change my voice. Again, Ma'ak mai? That's a statement. Ma'ak mai? Now I'm asking a question. And this is masculine. Now let's say the same sentence and the question in the feminine form. I can also say the feminine form has the E sound in the end. Masculine is Anna Achan. The feminine is Anna Achan. Anna Achan Ektir. Maik. Maik. You have in the feminine form. So Maak with the Ak. Is masculine. Ma aik with the ik that's feminine. Ma aik mai? Do you have water? Now, in Arabic, we also say andak. You have masculine. Andak. And the feminine is andik. Andik. You have. But here, there is a subtle difference in the meaning. When I say عندك or عندك, it simply means you have. But when I say معك or معك, it means you have on you. It means it's something that is with you in this moment. So this is the subtle difference between معك or عندك and معك or عندك.